Well, it's time for your weekend edition of Celeville Miss right here on BT Breaks with myself, Unomalaga, the flame, the baddest in the game. You better say my name. And as usual, honey, your faves have been out here doing the most. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this tea, honey. Defend R&B singer Chris Brown is reportedly facing a hefty $20 million fine after an anonymous woman filed a lawsuit against him alleging that he drugged her and then raped her. Now, according to reports, the woman claims to have been on a yacht with Chris Brown back in 2020 where she claims to have been disorientated after the singer gave her two drinks and then allegedly went on to rape her. Now, an even more shocking detail in the story is that Ubrizi apparently sent the woman a text in the morning asking her to take a morning after pill. Guys, what is going on with Chris Brown? What's up, BT? Is there a beef brewing between Megan Thee Stallion and some of the baddest women in hip hop? Well, that seems to be word on the street after Megan took to the socials to unfollow Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat. Guys, Megan's latest stunt fueled the ongoing speculation that there might be bad blood between herself and Nikki after she dropped the smash hit WAP with her arch nemesis Cardi B. Now, according to reports, Miss Minaj felt betrayed after helping launch Megan's career uh, following the success of their collaboration on the track Hot Girl Summer. Now, there's still no word as to why Doja Cat is catching Megan's heat, but like, guys, Megan, what's the deal? She's securing bags, unfollowing some of the baddest bees in the game, like. Okay. Back in Mzansi, local DJ Oscar Mbo was the name on everyone's lips after being called out for being a wait for it scammer. Now, chaos erupted on the timelines when a Twitter user by the name of DJ Archie accused Oscar of being a no show at an event that he was booked for in December and subsequently went AWOL after having been paid in full to play at the gig. Now, it looks like a can of worms were opened after other users came out with screen grabs accusing Oscar's manager of pulling the same stunt. Now, DJ Archie later tweeted that he had been refunded, but I doubt the people will let this one slide because apparently this is very very much on brand for Oscar. Over in the world of Kanye, the newly minted billionaire teased his upcoming release for Donda 2 that's set to drop next month, which seemingly coincides with his release of his documentary titled Genius, which has been in the works for the past 20 years. Now, guys, I must say that this is the kind of content that we as Kanye West fans want from him. He can miss us with all of that Julia Fox miss. It's uh, kind of boring now. And just in case you have nowhere to be this weekend, here's what you can expect right here on the best black entertainment channel in the world. I've been trying to figure out how to say what's on my mind. You always say what's on your mind. Not when it comes to you. It's yours. I bought it for you. I'm trying to get another chance. It's too late. I, I can't do it. So, you playing? You look guilty as hell. Why are you asking so many questions? Because I do not want this child to have a father in prison. What did you do? The less you know, the better. And just like that, it's time for the flame to be out. But we do this again on Monday at 9.25 p.m. CAT, right here on BET Channel 129. In the meantime, let's keep in contact on social media by using the hashtag BT Breaks F, And don't forget to tag at BT underscore Africa. Until then, guys, I love you so much. Have yourself a stunning weekend. Stay safe and wear your mask if you are going out sanitizing. You know the drill. I'll see you on Monday. Say it with me. Mwah. Bye, honey.